Takuna Matata, Michael. What's the pick? Tell me what we're taking. Oh, no. Doesn't matter. I don't know what you said, so. Huh? What I say? <clears throat> what you talking about, Michael? Ring's good. Guild Gate's fine. Burst Lightning's good. Um, Create two TTs is pretty good. Angler's okay. Temporal Isolation's real good. I think it's Temporal. Or Impulse. I ask because I'm an inverted player. I personally think something should have... I, I do think something should have gotten banned. Um, I think their data is a little skewed. Like I said in the article, I think their data is skewed because they're looking at... They're like, well, it's been played a lot, but it's not winning as much. But like you're seeing it in the hands of the bad players or the players who aren't super proficient with the deck. So then that's like skewing the win rate for the deck. What did you say? What's your pick? Isolation or Impulse? What's Isolation? Oh, Temporal Isolation? Yeah. There's a million of these in here. Like... Okay. Like, we had three of them in our in our black-white deck. I had, like, four of them in my in my blue-white deck. I've drafted, like, eight of these already. <laughs> so, what are you thinking? Um, I don't know. Do I do just three white decks in a row? You can take a bursty. Oh, come on, miscalc? Okay. Oh, dang it. Oh. I was... Dang it. Dang it. Oh, Mona the Unhallowed. That's a good one. I wanted that before, but now are we black-white again? We don't have to be white just because we took Mona white Yes, card. we do. Waste not, want not, Michael. I bet if we take this, this comes back. I like you this. You want the Avon Surveyor? That seems pretty good. It's all right. It's five mana. This card's bonkers, man. Then take it. Okay, I will. Fine, I will. Stop acting like my dad. Ooh, well, Pondering Mage is nice. Also, when it renders the return of blue black, creature to its owner's hand. Violent Paul, also pretty good. Yeah, that's actually real good. We're just taking the Violent Paul here. A black card to go through black card seems good. Yeah, that's my medical condition. Not at all. Not at all the sun coming See, through. See, now we can take Fire Blast. Fire Blast? Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't I just take Skin Thinner? It was a joke. Oh, I would definitely take Volshock Sorcerer if I was going to take a red card, though. Yeah, that's pretty good. Also, is this like uh, Return mm -hmm. to Your Hand of the Creature card in your graveyard with the greatest power? That's actually pretty good. Is that better than Skin Thinner? I actually don't, I don't know. think so. Skin yeah. Thinner seems real good. Plus, there's two... Plus, like, why... I guess you're not really committing to green. It's still a black card. No, it's double black card. Yeah. <clears throat> that, has nothing, that has nothing to do with green, man. Always take the removal, man. Bread. Bread it up. I I took the bread. Dang. Bread-eating son of a biscuit. I like Nightscape Flinger a lot. I like Pristine Talisman a lot. It's also a final payment. Yeah, but I don't want, like, I don't want to commit to this white yet. Take Salt I Emissary. Vault Scourge is fine. The two best decks in the format use it as a win con? What's the other deck that uses Thassa's Oracle as a win con? Is it, uh... Is the, does the Breach deck use that? I also don't think those are the two best decks in the format, but... I think Inverter is one of the better decks in the format, but I, I don't know if I would call it the best deck. What did you say? Are you talking? Yeah, I would... I like Nightscape. I thinking about Salt I Emissary. Sultai Emissary over Nightscape Familiar? Yeah. Once you go home, you're clearly drunk. You been drinking? Yeah, man. You on that sauce? Wait, how does Teamer Breach work? I don't know. I just work here. I like Rampant Growth. Is Black Green a thing? I thought Breach used Exploiter, the Explosion card to win. Is there a best deck? I mean, I think Inverter's up there. Um, I don't actually know if there's a best deck in Pioneer yet. Oh, man. What do I take here? Nothing in this packet really does anything for me. Rampant Goth is pretty good. Rampant Goth? <clears throat> Rampant Goth. Ooh, Blightning. Jeez. That's actually pretty good. I'm li I might lean toward that, actually. Yeah, we're taking the Blightning. Custody Squire. Starting the each player votes for artifact creature enchantment in the graveyard to turn each card with the most votes or tied for the most votes to your hand. Interesting. I like Ghoul. The Ghoulies will get you. No, they won't. Sure they will. I'll stop them, Michael. You gonna angle your dangle? <laughs> That guy seems impossible to cast. What? 
What are you talking about? Is this red? Oh man, yeah, the blighting costs one less. Woo! This one is rare when I play blue white control to good success the past few weeks. Uh, and mono green has been doing well in my matches. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like it's, I think the format is still very open. See you. I I don't think people are too lazy to build decks and just complain. I don't think that's what happens. Could also take hootie hoot. What? How, how, why are we? Since when? Why are we green? We could be. You. This guy's impossible to cast, but you're gonna you're gonna recommend this guy could cost one less. Yeah. In a different color. <laughs> Good consistency. <laughs> That guy says five mana four four. He has no other text. This guy? Yep. He literally helps us cast the guy you said it was impossible to cast. No. What what the hell's wrong with you? My argument for taking it was like just in case we could end up green because there wasn't really that much of the pack. But I guess the four five mana four four is fine. There's, there's cool service unless we borrow cards and test out decks. I've never heard of such a thing. Are you referring to manatraders.com? Where you can get 20% off your first three months if you use the link and promo code down below in my description. Choose a non-land card. That player discard. That's actually pretty good because of the amass. Yeah. Wasn't Mandrill a mega, game, mega Man villain? I think so, yeah. But it was Mandrill, right? Like... Rupee's fine. Yeah, Rupee's fine. Look at all these three drops, though. I ain't having I mean, it. Ruthless can be a one drop. No one ever wants You don't ever want to play this as a one drop. Why not? Why would Sometimes you just got a block? If you're at a position where you got a block, you can just easily play it as a three drop and flip it in the same turn. What if you don't have the mana? Then you shouldn't. Then if you don't have three mana, you definitely don't need to. You don't need to play this as one drop. What if you're behind? You're missing land drops. It's not. I'm not saying it's a bad one drop. I mean, it's fine mm -hmm. as a one drop. I, I would always play like Typhoid Rat as a one one for one with Death Touch. But like when you have a better ability on the card, which makes it a two two that you can flip and deal two damage, it's like why would you not do that? I'm just saying it's unsatisfying. It's like if I had a card that said, draw one card or draw three cards. When I'm drawing one card, it's still fine, but I'd rather draw three cards. There's probably a card like that. No, Michael. It doesn't exist. I'm sure there is. No, Michael. Don't lie to me. Oh, look. Your Salt Emissary came back. Nice. Nice. Also, this is kind of technically a Vintage Cube. Kind of technically, huh? Yeah, it has old cards in it. It's true. I mean, we got a Phyrexian Ghoul here. A Blightning. Everyone knows the legacy staple of Blightning. It's Vintage Cube with vintage just staple. only commons. Look at this sweet. Look at this sweet daddy. Oh, picked up one of them bad boys? Look at this sweet daddy. Man, my EDH dreams could all be true. I have one of those ancient tombs. Mm -hmm. I have a Wasteland. You you like this card? Oh, this card is sick. I was, this is actually the reason why I want to build Golos. I was going to put this in my cube. <clears throat> card we're talking about is Am I don't know if Amanitos it's strong enough for Augur. cube. Uh, it was in the Grixis cube that was on Magic Online. It was super fun when I got it. I was like, here's a Planeswalker, a creature, a sorcery. No, I mean, if you ever actually cast it, you're probably way ahead. But it's just, it's real expensive. Yeah, but in Vintage Cube, you have tons of ramp and like mana acceleration. Yeah, but you cut out the colorless ramp, right? No. There's no signets, right? Yeah, there's eight, there's ten signets. Oh, okay. Then yeah, keep it. You like this guy? Mm, no. <laughs> He's talking about Araxmathes or whatever. That it's, guy's way too dirtle. It's a 12-12 when it comes into play. It's like a... It becomes a land. It doesn't even have trample. Or does it? It doesn't. Waste of what about there. Crick? You like Crick? That guy is interesting. I know. I thought that too. So I was like, maybe I'll just get one of these to to see if I like it. It's seven mana, but obviously three is for Xian, so you could just pay four mana and six life. But then he has life link, and then for each black and a mana cost, you may pay two life rather than paying the mana. So, like all your black spells just get Phyrexian mana. The guy's pretty good in commander. And then whenever you cast a black spell, you can put a one one counter on him. Like, yeah, I don't know. It seems really interesting. Cause what's going on here? T -t 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 Today, Junior. Also, cube is basically just drafting commander, sort of. Right, that's why. Right, that's why I love cube. 
Ooh, what is Bone Clad Necromancer? Exile a creature card from a graveyard if you do create a 2 2. I like that. Cathari Bomber's pretty cool. That guy's good. Stagger Shock's pretty good. Bomber's like in cubes, man. What? Seen, what cube is this in? My dad's cube. Your dad don't even have Stagger a cube. Eating a sandwich. Thank you so much for the reset. Yeah, Stagger Shock seems nuts. Another three drop. I know. Crick is thick. Gets you into, the, into your Bolas Citadel real early. Yeah, that's true. You can go Crick and then next turn Bolas Citadel. Look at that lady. She's still on their little Baskin platform. She's been getting... She be Baskin. She's been heating up. Heat it up. Oh, Jesus. David, what are you sending over here, my dude? <laughs> Haven't we already... That's already I'm pretty been, sure I've seen this. Yeah, I, this meme has already happened. I think either you sent it or Nick sent it. That's hilarious. I think you guys both might have come up with it. <laughs> wow <laughs> oh That's jesus amazing. hold on let me see if nick actually sent me that same meme oh yeah i clipped that I'm, oh someone clipped it oh yes Ophinity, you are the man my dude hold on let's see if we can i wanna let me oh last gas seems good here no raging crunch I was a raging cron. I also once. like Guardian Idol. Oh, Battle Screech is so freaking good. She got to tap white creatures. Yeah, I don't think we're making that. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna get that, and then we're gonna watch this Emanato's Augury. All right, so Mountain will be free. Oh God. Oh God. This is what Liliana we hit: Cruel Tomatum, Nicol Bolas, Liliana. Oh Jesus! <laughs> You'll have to play one of every type of. This yeah. card is fantastic. Let's go. Nicol Bolas is our creature. Oh, because it was Nicol as the creature. Is it basic land? Because I didn't even see Wandering Fumeral. Doesn't matter. Really doesn't matter. We get Cruel Ultimatum, Prophetic Bolt, and Coalition Relic. This will so be Relic artifact. is the artifact. Prophetic Bolt's this the instant. Cruel Ultimatum is a sorcery. Spell. Oh, that's so much value, dude. <laughs> Put a card into your hand. Oh, I forgot, like... Yeah, I forgot it wasn't Cruel Ultimatum. I was like, wait, don't we get all of them? And we'll Cruel Ultimatum. That's insane. Yeah. So this is when I was like, oh, I'm sold on this thing, dude. Wow. <laughs> Fucking. That is oh a bonkers amount of value. Oh, man. Oh, Denrova Horror? Oh, oh dang. I'm not even red. One. Or I'm not even blue. Oh, man. Do you take that and just. Oh, that guy's red? so good, dude. He's real good. That card's insane. And there's nothing else good in this pack. Yeah, just take and see what happens. That is a good one. All right, hold on. I was looking for. I was looking for the the other meme. I wonder. I would have had it been a while back. I don't think it's this far back, man. But I, I know someone did that meme. I know, I know. We've definitely seen it before. Maybe David might have sent it twice. The meme's so nice that it was sent over twice. Oh, Sammy, what's going on, my dude? Oh, look at that. Demir Backwater. Demir Backwater. Oh, I like Soul Manipulation, though. Oh, that card's pretty good. Oh, that's like a, that's like a blue lightning. <sighs> I, bet the, I bet the Dismal Backwater comes back. Dang, man. If only we could be Grixis. Good red options. Oh, also it's cheaper with the Nightscape familiar. Damn. Well, we... It's definitely not impossible to be Grixis. Like, these are just red splashes. Like, they're not... I think you need some duels for that, though. We're not only in pack two. Buddy. I'll give you all the duels you want. Golos is such a great design card. Is it better than Solemn Simulacrum? That's, like, my biggest question. I think it depends on the format. Well, getting any land is super powerful. Like, you can get Wasteland, you can get Dark Depths. Ooh, Prophetic Prism is nice. You can get Gaia's Cradle. I'm taking Prophetic Prism, and we're going triple colors, strip my dude. Strip Mine. What are you saying right now about Strip Mines? I'm talking about the lands you can get. That's true. I do find most of the time I'm just getting either, like, a basic or a dual land. Which I think is not necessarily worth the one extra mana. And then Solemn draws me a card when it dies. Do you have a list of the cards in your cube? Um, yeah, Villy, you should actually know this, dude. 
Oh my god, what if the command is not up? It's gotta be up, right? Yeah, there you go. That was also recently updated. Did you update the this too? That's I literally updated here. Oh, okay. Well, you updated in real life too, right? This guy's... Well, yeah. It's both, both. You ever seen this guy, Night Incarnate? This is a, so. This is a new addition. What does that guy do? This gentleman is a 5-mana 3-4 with Death Touch. Unexciting. But when it leaves the battlefield, all creatures get neg 3, neg 3, and you can evoke it for 4. Oh, yeah, I have seen so that it's basically like a good. 4-mana neg 3, neg 3 to everything. So it's kind of like Damnation in the cube. But it's, it's also just a 3-4. Yeah, it's also just a 3-4 body. Man, I would love to be the guy that opens the uh, the Sarah Angel in your cube, buddy. <sighs> return on non-impermanent if this spell is kicked. Return another one. It's real good. It is good. What was that noise? Nothing. <laughs> oh. I've seen people playing that in mono blue. How many fucking three decks? drops are we going to have, though? What's going on? This this draft has been weird. Oh. Just get to three mana real quick. Billy, it's true. You have been away. But I expected you to know the... The, the ancient text yeah, like of the chat. I being super open. You think? Oh, there's a boneyard. Also a cronarch. Dang. Also compulsive. I think it's just compulsive. Worst case scenario, we're just blue-black. Not even considering the land there? I did consider the land, but I think compulsive... That's why I said I think it's just compulsive. I think compulsive is infinitely... It, compulsive is so good, man. It's three cards. You ever drawn three cards before? He's never he's never done that. I usually like to draw seven plus, so seven plus? Yeah. This is the this is an awesome card, a commander card that I have not seen before. Hmm. Of course the card I wanted to hear is the three drop. This is ridiculous. How do you abuse that? What do you mean? Okay, here's the card. Tell me what this reminds you of. It is Doomed Artisan. It is a 3-mana 1-1. One, one. Sculptures you control can't attack or block. At the beginning of your end step, create a colorless sculpture that with this creature's power and toughness equal to the number of sculptures you control. So the first one's a 1-1. One, one. The next one's a 2-2 two, two with another 2-2. Two, two. Then you have three three threes, Like pack rats, right? Oh, so if you somehow kill him, you gotta... Like, yeah, if he gone. dies, then oh, you have yeah, a bunch yeah. of dudes. It reminds me of Ophiomancer, in a so way. clamp him. Right, exactly. Uh, land would have been nice there? What was the land? Wasn't the land, like, not our color at all? Well, we were going to take Boneclad Necromancer in the beginning, so I'll definitely take it now. Yeah, Billy, that's why I made it 360, because I wanted every card to be drafted. One of the things I don't like is you're like, oh, well, cool, a Splinter Twin and a Kiki Jiki, and then, like, the Deceiver Exarch just isn't in the... It's not in the cube part that you're drafting, so it's kind of awkward. Is this any good? Deals two damage. I don't think any of our creatures would survive at this point. Hmm. I just want Warp Landscape. It's a three-color deck. I don't know. I mean, it gets you land. It's pretty good. Sure, but it makes me force me to play a colorless land. I mean, it's basically an evolving wild. Ooh, narcolepsy is nice. Jeez. I mean, it is, but like it costs you two, right? It's not just I like mean, crack. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Do you? Yeah. Where's my submerged boneyard? <laughs> these aren't even. These are just ridiculous now. Presidential alert! Wow. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. It is Michael B.'s birthday, my dudes. Oh, I like Archaeomancer and Blink of an Eye. I guess I want the Archaeomancer. Getting back like Moan or Violent Paul or Soul Manipulate. Yeah, this card seems great here. All right. This card's good enough take for, like, out for now. competitive commander decks. So I think it's good enough for Yeah, me. plus there's a bunch of, like, blink two creature cards, and then you can blink it and get that card back. Yeah. You can blink, like, Denerova Horror Archaeomancer and then, like, get the blink card back. Oh, you know what's happening. Oh, is that a Mully Dully? You know what time it is. A Mully Bully? It's your boy. Mully D. Big moles, mixed moles. 
God, I want to put that card in every commander deck. Mall Drifter? Yeah. You know why? It's real good. Because it's good. Mall Drifter should be printed in every set. Wow. It's true. I don't know about that. Oh, I definitely prefer it over Divination, of course. It's just strictly better. I guess. Oh, there's a displace. That's what we're talking about. What's that do? Uh, exile up to two creatures you control, then return them to the battlefield under their owner's control. Oh. It's actually very good with Horror, Mole Drifter, even Necromancer makes another 2 2, Archaeomancer. Uh, no. It also just saves your guys some time, which is fine. Oh, yeah. Give me another three drop. Oh, capsize. <sighs> that's value. Yeah, that's disgusting. I mean, basically, like, if you're ahead on board and you get the six mana, the game's just actually over. Yep. I the, My first round opponent had against me. The only way I stopped it was, like, I God's willing whatever they were... Like, I blinked whatever they were targeting with it. Yeah, that's all you can really do. And, like, that was the only way to get... I'm going to take the Kozilix guy out for now. I don't know. You're... Mana requirements are pretty heavy. What'd you say to me? Your mana requirements are pretty heavy. Right, but once I have five, I'm good. Wait, how? Because I, I need five mana to cast this, so I don't. Once I have like five mana, I don't really need two more mana. Yeah, but that puts you to s like seven, which is really good. Oh, is it really good? Like guarantees you can play a lot of your spells. Oh, there's a new mana like ball. It's capsize guarantees, Demora Horror guarantees, Angler guarantees. I want to take Mnemonic Wall. Can we be Del Delver deck? Gross. No one wants that. I don't know, man. We got one, two, three, four, five. Ooh, I like a Wretched Griff. Six. Is it Wretched Griff or is it Into the Royal? You got to merge. Draw a card flying. Seems pretty good. It's real good. We got Death Bloom Thaled we can sacrifice, <coughs> which is fine. What's that in the Royal? It's pretty good. Two on flyer for two is pretty good too. How does the merge work again? You sack a creature, and then you can emerge. And it's it's the it, the casting cost of that creature you sack is removed from this cost. So this costs six. If you sack a four drop, it only costs two. Gotcha. Yeah, I think this guy's good. Hmm. All right, draw a card, lose a life. Five four for six. Or 5-5 five, five Hexproof. That guy seems good. I don't think we're going to play him. We do need to make like one cut here. I don't know if we're a Phyrexian Ghoul deck. I can see cutting that guy. This is still 12 creatures with a Moan. So 13 creatures. Oh, Falconrath Noble. That's interesting. Oh, Reign of Revelation for sure. Oh, that card's great. And mono blanks. All right, we'll take this thing, I guess. What was I going to cut? I was going to cut something else. Uh, maybe Angler. Mm. You yeah, I mean like a we wrecking spells, right? ball. I mean, we have to if we only have 12 creatures. I guess we don't need Prism anymore. No. Yeah, that seems fine. Not Coil Fang? I mean, we're not going to play a green card. What's for dinner, man? Chinese chicken children? Michael, you want to eat Chinese chicken children, mm -hmm. is what you said. Yeah. Huh. I did. Go to Beehive Grill slash pub. It's pretty good. Really? I've seen the Beehive. Let's see what they look like. Let's see what this food looks like. Oh, God. Look at this. Guys, this does not look appetizing at all. I don't know if I'm feeling thank like you. that. Steven C. Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. 
There's a grill. Doesn't anyone have a clip of Michael singing about mayonnaise? <laughs> I don't even remember that. Neither do I. It was actually pretty good. These reviews are pretty good. Four stars. Let me see them pics, boy. I'm going, Michael. Got some veg. This place looks alright. I'd give it a go. Yeah. A, look at that ribbon, man. Ooh, I do like a good potato skin. <laughs> oh, biscuits. We could try it. I mean, what do you got to lose, Michael? Oh, look at that. Oh, are those some potatoes are gratin? What is this, ravioli? I don't even know what I'm looking at here. Who knows, man? Not me, that's the whole point. Hey, when we go to the the beehive grill, what should I get? Make a suggestion. Peas and cream, 91. Glass pies. <laughs> Those are your favorite, Michael. Oh. Is Striped Riverwinder better than Gurmag Angler? They're both 5-5s five with 7 mana cost. One has Hexproof and can cycle. The other gets a little cheaper. I do like the cycling on this. Do you think that Metamorphos is a risk of getting banned anytime soon? In what? I assume Modern. Not really. I mean, like, there's no decks that are, like, super abusive with Metamorphos, really, right? I mean, it's in, like, every combo deck, though, right? But, like, what are what numbers are they putting up? Like, just because it's in those decks doesn't make them yeah, bad. That's true. Like, you're not going to ban a card because it's in decks. Yeah, I think I like that guy better. Eight, nine, done. Wait, really? Eh, all right, I guess. Wish I had one basic. I mean, warp, I don't think this is good enough. Not a two color deck, no. Yeah, I don't think I need that nonsense. We're playing three colors, sure, but. Well, sometimes I came in like a wrecking ball, you know? It's life. Michael B messaged him on Mike Mark, Michael B messaged you one time on Facebook? That sounds that sounds fictional, man. Did I? He was probably drunk. He doesn't remember. He's like, did I do that? He doesn't even remember, man. Was it like when you first friend request me and we chatted for a minute? Was that it? God, he doesn't even know. I'm so sorry, man. He just forgot. King Kobe burger and any beer. I like over the top Hez That's how that's how words work. Hefeweizen? Oh, so they do like custom beers. Yeah, they customize it for you. You can be like, hey, give me an give me an orange cherry mangrove beer and they'll make it for you because it's wow. custom. No, I'm that man. They have craft beers, okay? Oh, is that is that this that's not the same? Custom Close and craft, enough, man. is it? Close enough. Is it? Okay, sir, your bill will be ready in about three months. That's about how long it's going to take us to make it. Mangrove beer? Yeah, buddy. <laughs> oh, they got custom beers. <laughs> that was just such a random word to pick. You're like, oh, yeah, custom beer? Uh, yeah, sure. Custom. Yeah, it's custom. I still want to try that Chicago place. All right, let's go there. I can go for some cheese sticks. They most likely have cheese sticks. I know they do. I saw it on the menu. Ooh. I wasn't I wasn't guessing, man. This isn't a game. Three color deck with Mog Fanatic. I, I am I am intrigued. It's like what is that guy really doing for you, man? You know. I mean I guess he deals one to something, but You know. Well you know what does you know this is one to something? Do they just go with like a Pilsner and squirt Starbucks flavor syrup into it? Maybe. This is Glenn Jones. Wait, what? Yeah, it's Watsy Glenn J. Oh, snap. That's awesome, dude. <laughs> That's this old Glenny boy. I was like, oh my goodness. Get in there. Get in there, you old biscuit. 
Squirt syrup? What's happening right now? You gonna counter this? Don't counter it, Glenn. Oh god, he, he, he didn't do it. Alright. We're living the dream right now. <coughs> Michael, keep it down. Oh, they pillared my death bloom, Thalon. That was aggressive. Very egg oh, this is great. We can actually attack with this guy and then play Wretched Griff and sack it. And then we get a 2 2 and the Wretched Griffums. He's Glenn Jones. Uh, he's a friend of ours. He used to do a lot of events. He currently works for Wizards. He used to do a lot of events. He was like a he was like a, a oh, he was like well, a well known player, right? For Star City circuit and stuff. Eh, I don't know. I just live here, man. Wow. He's being real aggressive right now. Oof. Big oof. Land. Yes. Yes. Excellent. Because now I can keep Solmanip up, counter the next thing he plays, and get my wretched What if opponent back. plays Nicol Bolas Dragon God? Well, that would be good. What if who plays that? If our opponent plays that. I it. mean, that'd be good. He's missing a good amount of black, though. Oh, man. Wretched. Mog Fanatics getting in there. Why would you do it, Mog Fanatoms? Mike B, you ever dredge? I have a whole commander deck devoted to Dredge. What does that mean? Elrond Scrubber asked me that too, and I didn't know what he was talking about. I love a good Dredge. Do you? Yeah. How much Dredge you like? A good amount. On a scale of fourteen to Bazorples, how much like how much like dredging? Bazungles. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm a big Bazungles fan myself, personally. Oh god, Nightscape Familiar. You're the hero that we need. On a dark, cold, rainy night. My whole hand costs less now? What a day. What a well, glorious day. Most of it. Well, that's unfortunate that you would... I cannot believe you've done this. It goes to the graveyard, though, so that's kind of value. I know, it's actually good, because now i got a moan in the graveyard. i got a black snake moan in the graveyard. That was a movie. I'll take one. Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. Oh, God. Oh, God, it's all happening. Oh no, that's not happening anymore. Someone smell the counter spell. I think he did smell it. Sunnels D, it'll burn your buzzles. <laughs> He's charging the cruel ultimatum, yeah. Uh, Alright, so this guy costs what? Four, one, one, two, three, four. Big Mully Bully. Take, take me home. Cause I got a mull drifter. Take, take me home. Good game for the deck. Uh, it looks really busted. Our deck? Are they going to just kill my... Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Regen doesn't seem worth. Nah, I got my value. Oh god, something's happening. Oh, thank goodness. Give me that Griff. Oh yeah, our deck seems very good. We have five cards to this too. 
Two of them draws cards. One of them is a two for one. Oh my god, Displace, we can blink this guy and the Necromancer, get like a bunch of dudes. One, two, three, four, five. Let's exile your snaky boy. Snake, snake me home. You know Snake Me Home? You know you ever heard that song? No. One day you will. You Cuban? How? And can I cube? Yes, you can. Buddy, you know you can. It's Popper Cube. My dude. Uh, return a creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Blink him. Blink him and stink him. That's probably going to be the end. Glenn knows what's up. I'm going to exile your peace, Strider. Peace out, More Strider. Like, damn it, you got me. That's what I was going to say. <coughs> Our deck seems good. I forgot to start recording this, so that's unfortunate. Oof. Great. Oof. Just great. <coughs> now I'm going to have to download the whole VOD. You're going to have to work, work, work. Work, 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 work. Yeah, I know. Okay. Are you going to CubeCon? There's a CubeCon? What do you guys think of these Yeezys? Dang it. Why can't you just save it as an image? You guys aren't going to like them, though, because you guys don't like Yeezys a bit. <coughs> <coughs> Look at those those beauties. How many shoes you need, man? Need? Yeah. I mean, I need I need, need one pair. How many do I want? More than that, because I enjoy them. But, like, at some point, it's got to end. Why? Because it's ridiculous. What does that mean? Why is it, what makes it ridiculous? It's too many shoes. That's just you're just saying the same thing. In Do you already ways. have a gray pair? A gray pair? Yeah. Not not a, not like this. No, not with this sweet orange liner, with a with a green tint on the. So you do have a, another pair that's gray. No, I said okay. I said no. Did you not hear well, me? You said not no, not with this. So that assumes that you. No, it seems not. It, <laughs> not. Stinkweed is injected into Mike B. What does that even mean? Knitted shoes? What does that mean? They look like they're knitted. I mean, yes, most all there's tons of shoes nowadays, especially Adidas with boosts that have prime knit uppers. It's like super common. It's actually, it's almost more. I mean, even even Nikes have tons of prime knit shoes. All we get prime knit. More like prime shit. Am I right? <laughs> Did you laugh at that? You like that man? Yeah, but like water would soak right through. What am I? St I'm not going in a lake, bro. <laughs> Which is kind of the, you only wear shoes when you're wading through water. No, I don't think so, buddy. <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. I I wear shoes to keep my feet clean and uh, and so I don't step on things like rocks and nails. Magic Fest destroyed Sao Paulo, Louisville, and Palm. Yeah, they yeah they they canceled a bunch of Magic Fest. We just I thought we mentioned that earlier. Don't counter, don't counter, don't counter, don't counter. Oh, it resolved. Let me tell you something, Michael. You know what's not noise pollution, Michael? No. Rock and roll ain't noise pollution, okay? This Mog Fanatic just seems like a bad draw. Oh man, I can flip my thinner. My thinner of the skin. Flip them up. Whoa. Do shoes protect from Corona? Probably not. I don't think it's, uh, I don't think you get it through the shoe, through the foot. I mean, it probably would. I mean, it's not like, it's not. It's probably a non-zero amount of protection, but I wouldn't I wouldn't imagine it's super high either, so. No, the answer is no. 
Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Okie chokey, lemon smoky. Does, doesn't everyone have mucous membranes on their feet? Hey, buddy. I'll show you a mucous membrane. Please don't. You'll see it. I don't want to. I'll show you. No. I'm just going to take four here because I feel like they're going to do some shenanigans. Bum, 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 bum. Ba -da -ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba Ba -ba 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 oh no. Here's the shenanigans that we were talking about. Oh, they bounced it. But 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 biscuit. Oh, snaps pretty good with a flash guy. <clears throat> you know this is pretty good? My dad. This is true. My father. I'm gonna bounce the land like a savage. Yeah, what are you gonna do? They only got one swamp, so they discard that swamp or or a different card. You got it. Got rid of an island. All right, so now they got a no, not anymore. I was like, Glenn, you're being real aggressive here, my dude. I mean, they're at two, and we have lethal on board. I'm not. I don't want to throw Moan away here and be like, if they have like pestilence or something for. I guess they would have to spend their, their their black. They'd have to draw another black and then spend the black. But I don't know. It doesn't feel worth the risk. They have to deal with two of these guys. And, oh, oh, that's a yikes. I don't even know. Like it's weird because I'm like, he didn't respond to my my. You didn't respond to my messages, so now I feel weird like saying more. And then I gotta wait and be like, is he gonna respond? I don't know. And then if he doesn't, it's even more awkward. But if he does, then we're in like a conversation. And right now, I basically just feel like Larry David. And I'm like, I don't have time for the stop and chat. Was that round one? Yeah, right. Our deck is pretty pretty sweet. I just don't like doing the stop and chat, you know. Yeah, like watch I, out for the aggro deck. That's about it. Conversations are the worst. Who's got the time, man? You're like that weird guy who keeps talking to people even though none of them speak English. <laughs> is it's like that a, a guy? It's like every American in a foreign country. No, they yell. Where is the McDonald's? Like Hamburger helps. McDonald's? Like that? You're like what? It doesn't do anything. That's useless. He's like, you know, I, no matter how loud it is, I still don't speak English. Oh, man, this is great. We get to steal their best card and then make a 1-1-2. One, one, oh, and then we get to get it back? No, you only get a 1-1. One, one. You don't get a 1-1-2. One, one, What's a 1-1-2? One, one, Dang, that seems like a huge creature, dude. <laughs> it's got a third metric? Yeah. Jesus. Do you know how hard it is to get 48 nugs in Paris at 2 a.m.? 48 Nugs in Paris is actually in my art house indie film. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> All right. So we got Wildfire Elemental. 3-3. Three, three, whenever opponents dealt non-combat damage, creatures you control get plus one, plus oh. Jesus. It's scary. Scourge Devil is fine. It's Lash Out, Fire Blast, Bogarden Dragonheart, Sag another creature, and Beetle. I think Beetleback Chief is actually probably the hardest to deal with here. I want my What? I'm pretty sure what you just had would be defined as a stroke by a doctor. Well, you're clearly not a doctor because I definitely didn't have a stroke. Say it to my face. I just did. Say it to my other face. We're like barely a foot apart. We'll be we'll be more feet apart later if you're not if you're not watching your face. <laughs> Got him. All right, so Mountain came down, and Bogarden Dragon Boy came down. All right, so now we know four of the five cards in their hand. The 2-2, two -two, they sack a creature to make a new 4-4 flyer. What do they think of next? <laughs> 
Boy, they thought of everything, didn't they? Fire Blast is a little annoying here. What are they going to do? Deals four? Well, they can deal with anything. It doesn't have to be the face. Well, I care. Are they going to kill my one ones? <laughs> First, they're going to... Yeah, good one. First, they're going to attack I'm tempted to bounce you. both these guys, to be honest. That'd be pretty good. But I don't want to sack a land to do it. But I guess we could just play Moldrifter if we draw another land. Probably a Swamp. Boy, you know it. I mean, it's a pretty good play. It's a lot of tempo. That's like seven mana worth of tempo. Dang it. I think you evoke. Really? Yeah. Not evoking seems real greedy here. I mean, we get to get this guy down, and then we get to play Toll and take something else. Oh, right. Yeah, because we got Be Nightscape. Cheaper. Yeah, I want to get Toll again. I'm going to get Nestle Toll House again. My town after 8 p.m. becomes a ghost town. Yikes. You like how I did the translation? Nice. After 20 hours, 20 hundred hours. Oh, wow. That was pretty rude. Wow, it just dawned on me that if Mike B was a doctor, he would literally be Dr. B. 1-800-DR-B. The B is for bargain. Wow. Just take Wildfire Elemental. That guy seems problematic. I think so. Any land in our... you get the double mass. Yeah, now it's 2-2. Two, nice. two. Any land in our hand is just bonkers. Hi, everybody. It's Dr. B. <laughs> now that I am doctor, my accent change. It's from, it's from Dr. Nick. From, 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 the Simpsons. Wow, he just played it and sacrificed it? Yeah, I've seen about 10 Simpsons episodes, maybe. That's aggressive, dude. Oh, wow. I guess we can only blink one of these to, to value. Oh, wow. Shut the fuck up. Oh, wow. <laughs> Why are you like this, huh? I'll just save it till you get more value. I want to survive. That's what I want. When you're 12, you're fine. Excuse me? I guess you're virtually at 8. Literally, all my doctor's appointments go on my calendar as Dr. B. <laughs> no, they don't. I need a screenshot. He's going to fix them all. He's going to be like, Dr. B, Dr. B. Also, how many doctor's appointments you really got? And is it a digital calendar or a physical? Because physical would be even more unbelievable. Crimson and Michael B. So, I mean, this is nine damage, and we're going to blink our gentleman. This is actually a lot of damage here. Well, we would just be dead if we don't, so. Literal dead. What are we getting? Get this place back. Which place? This place. <coughs> What's your problem? QR. QR? Yeah, QR code. It's <laughs> a weird problem to have. I got a lot of problems. Go on. Actually, we probably should have blocked the other way. That was pretty bad. You kind of want that guy to die, right? Right, but I, yeah, I forgot that, like, this was the guy they're going to sacrifice. So, I mean, they have Lash Out. Yep, we just have to win. Island versus, oh, Mountain. All right, cool. Um, Yeah, I'll keep that on top, actually. We, we want that. And so, Scourge Devil is gone. Lash Out's gone. So we know the one card in your hand is Fire Blast. So that's a yikes so we're for at me, three dog. Life basically. Well, we got a Mall Drifter and a this place. Which place? D -d 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 this one. Well, Haste Creatures are scary, but I'll just attack because. That seemed like a pretty loose attack. Really? What did it really accomplish? 
Adult, adult the, oh, oh, really? Come on. Why is Fire Blast a common? It doesn't feel like a common card. It's a free <laughs> spell. God. Kerwin, can I share this? <laughs> Oh, God. What did you say? Why is what? Why is that a common? What, Fire Blast? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I was wondering that same thing when I saw it. The Red it. Force of Will. It should not be a common. That's insane. Yeah, it's real good. Well, I don't have anything in here that's like... I think Angler is probably better than the River Winder here. Mike B., what are you dressing up as for St. Patrick's Day? Uh, do people dress up in St. Patrick's Day? I think they just wear green. I don't know about dressing up. You've never done St. Patrick's Day? Not that way, boy. <laughs> What a dummy, dude. Didn't they reprint Snapcaster as a comment? Here, this is what Kerwit just sent me. <laughs> hey, 8 a.m., Dr. B. <laughs> oh, God, that's hilarious. I will play first. Eh, I'll keep this hand. Really? No, I lied. I'm just kidding. JK, not keeping it. Ha ha ha. Got Seems him. really slow against the red deck. Oh, really? Yes. Tell me more. You don't have to play until turn three? Jesus. He just keeps talking, doesn't he? Uh, I gotta this go. Is, this uh, is the deck we get trounced by. Well, that's life, man. <laughs> just a bad matchup. Ultra Guard closes at midnight? Oh, dang. Wow, that's crazy. Except for Sunday. God, Hunter drinks so much water now. I think I need to take him to the vet. I thought you were already going to do that. I did. I just have to make the appointment. Ah. Oh. Ooh, Volshock Sorcerer is nice. Double Cleave, Raging Crunch. Don't care about the Cleave that much. This guy is obnoxious, but I think it's just Sorcerer here. Because that just immediately kills my guy anyway, so. Raging Crunch. Irish here, all parades canceled. Pub's still open, but nobody is going out now. Yeah, I'll just block. What do I care? They played a mountain. Now they're playing a crunchy. Oh, that's old Richard Crunchy. Do I want to take five, or do I want to actually just bounce their goblin so they can't come at me, bro? Seems good. I think I'm just bouncing the goblin. I think it's worth it to save five damage. Seems good. <clears throat> you like Mario Brothers Mile? They're pretty cool. <coughs> what you thinking about? <coughs> well, so they're just gonna play this guy this turn anyway. So if I bounce this instead, they can only play one of the two. And then next turn, I'm only taking five if they replay this. Whereas next turn, I'm taking seven. I really don't want to bounce. I don't want to get rid of a land here, so. Sacking a land to kill a 1-1 one -one does not seem worth it. I agree. That's why I didn't do it. Yep, that guy's gone. Mountain's gone. So you have Crunch. Captain Crunch. Oh, that's really good. Um, Let's probably get rid of the dis the, the, the displace. Yeah, but like Blinking Muldrifter or Denrovo Horror at some point, it seems real good. Uh, you can get rid of the counter spell. I don't know if you have time to cast it. I kind of just want to get rid of Swamp. Because next turn we have Muldrifter. But then we like guaranteed... Yeah. 
I just don't feel like you're ever going to have time to soul manipulation. You're too behind on the board. Yeah, I don't think you're wrong. Biscuits. Oh, he gets haste too. Yeah, it's, uh, it's wild. I mean, they're gonna use double cleave here. That seems fine. Cool. Doesn't get doesn't get trampled, so whatever. Yeah, that's fine. So we need to have Crunch as like one of your two cards here. Oh, that's real good too. Okay, so you have Crunch and Pumpy Boy. And pump it up. Pump up the biscuits. <clears throat> oh man, I wish I kept this place now because the next time we can go Mull Drifter and blink it, blink Mull Drifter and Denrova. And that's pretty good. Um, I think you just kill their tutu. I mean, it's instant. I don't have to do it now. Oh sure. And I can keep counterspell man up. It might also he might also sack, which will get us extra value. Right, right, right. Because they're definitely gonna play the. Oh, they didn't. All right. Oh, they're just going to sack this guy? Yeah, that's fine. Actually, no, I like this. This is actually really good. Oh, you counter and return your... Yeah, get a general horror back. That's bonkers. Yeah, they have to commit a guy or their dude can't attack. Wow, you managed to get value out of that in this matchup. Yeah, that's good seriously great. That's the guy or the land? The guy. Okay. And now if they have two spells in hand, they have to get rid of one. Why would ever bounce a land? You sound like a crazy well, person. Well, can't attack without a friend. Right, but as soon as they play a friend, like... Oh! Six, seven, eight... That's game. <laughs> this place. Why don't you just do it now? Um, it just doesn't do anything. Actually, I guess it's fine. Okay. <laughs> that's, yep, that's pretty good. All right. Theory you should have attacked first. But if we attack first, they block. Like I can't attack or block alone, right? He can't attack alone. He can block oh, just fine. Okay. My bad. He ain't got no problem blocking, bro. <clears throat> so he's slightly better designed. I think our deck is good. I mean, their deck is aggressive. I wish we had more life gain, but. Do we have any life gain? Nope. Maybe. Probably not. <laughs> what an emotional roller coaster that was. Up and down, all around. Zippy did I'm zippy down. What? What? Also, today I had no. to do this weird presentation at work. So, like, uh, three times a week, we just had to, like, have a little powwow meeting where we just, we just, like, we have one person do stuff, like, play a game or talk about something sounds or weird. inform people it's really random and I don't know why but I got picked for it so I did Florida Facts because that's the only thing I think of <laughs> that's all I know about <laughs> you kept 
I'm old, so I'm going keeping six, oh, okay. and like yeah. I have two land, two two shots to draw land. So, okay, fair enough. I know you're old. Oh, you didn't know that, did you? What job am I doing? Uh, I do payment resolution, so it's God, you got to answer that question like 15 times. I do. I fix bills that are messed up in our system. I work for a company called Conservice. They got free sodi pops. That's all Mike wants out of life. Just free sodi pops. Yeah, there's uh, there's never ending amounts of work to do. Like, we'll never run out of stuff to do, basically. Florida Flax, like what? What's a Flax? <laughs> Florida Facts, like uh, Florida has the most golf courses of any state. What? Yep. Interesting. Also, Jacksonville is technically the largest city in the U.S., area-wise. Land. Damn it. I can keep going, man. Okay. Florida produces the most oranges, watermelon, sugar, and What's strawberries. orange, watermelon, sugar? That sounds delicious. <laughs> uh, there's also a town in Florida that's the fern capital of the world. Most ferns come from Florida. That's... Huh. Yeah. God, here's the wealth of knowledge. Uh, the Everglades is the only place where both alligators and crocodiles live in harmony. It's beautiful. <laughs> I don't know if they actually live in harmony, but they live together in the same area, which is rare. That sounds harmonious. Voldaren Duelist, former F-52 with haste, target you can't block, fire blast, or sack a creature to deal... Wow, they have nine damage in hand. Well, that's something right there, isn't it? Uh, I think we just have to take one of the big boys. I think the four damage is better. They don't have a way to cast Duelist next turn. Why not? I'll go over the rest of the Florida facts. About a thousand people per day move to Florida. Get out of here. You sound crazy. Uh, you can never find dinosaur fossils in Florida because it's underwater during the dinosaur age. Wild. This one might be obvious, but Florida is the flattest state. The high point is only 345 feet. Florida's official state reptile is the alligator. Another one that's kind of obvious. Uh, Florida is one of the few states where you don't have to do uh, parallel parking for your driver's test. Uh, Florida has more toll roads and bridges than any other state. These are all wild, man. Uh... <laughs> The annual attendance of Disneyland is 17 million. So about 45,000 people per day. 17 and, million people go to Disney a year? Yes. 45,000 a day, and on their busy days, over 100,000 a day. The refrigerator, as we know. Times, let's say like 100. Uh, let's say my ticket as a Florida resident, I got three tickets for like 107. So let's say like 100 bucks per ticket. That's $1.7 billion a year just for, like, Disney. That's crazy. That's just ticket sales. Right. That's not including, like, everything in the park. Right. Um, the refrigerator as we know it was invented in Florida. Get out of here. Like that the, makes sense. Yeah. They're like, God damn, By it's hot. Dr. John Gorey. I love John Gorey. In the little town of... Uh, not to be confused with Ever Eva John, Evan John Goria. Apologicola. It's really hard to say. Only for a dummy. And uh, tourism generates about $88 billion for Florida a year. Same. Same what? Mm hmm. Well, I guess we're going to 11, but we know they have one card and it's dealing five. Big moles. Well, it doesn't count if you're just Googling it. How else do you learn its stuff? How else do you learn facts? <laughs> it doesn't count if you didn't know it from birth. <laughs> yeah, like, how else do you know things? Like what? You like you like what? A, like that's like knowledge gatekeeping. It's like we well, didn't learn it the way you should have learned it. Which and is by like, the way, I googled multiple sites to come up with a compilation of my list. He so he how about that? He com compil compil how about that? He compilated it. I compilated it. Oh, violent Paul on the top. Probably want that, right? I feel like I do. 
Frank and Mike, what are your favorite Disneyland foods? Oh, yeah. 100% blocking this dude. Hmm. Did you keep the Volshock Sorcerer on top? Yeah, you did. All right. So you're going to draw that guy. Funnel cakes and corn dogs are pretty good. Funnel cakes and corn dogs. 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 So this is six damage here. Refrigeration was actually co invented in a bunch of places. Wow. I don't know, man. I'm just reading the fact I got. Reading the fact I got. Before that, people right. legit sold ice? Yeah. Ob. I think we're going to play wall and get back, back to tall. solving rat debt bills. Because they can either play one or the other next turn. And that's pretty good for us. So I'm okay with it. Not good. Narcolepsy against the red deck is literally just, just rule. untouchable removal. I mean, they have artillerized in hand, which means they can just sack this guy, oh, which is not okay. bad. But still, like... We got their pinger boy. He was a pinger boy. He said as a zinger boy. Zing, 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 goody ding. That's a song I just wrote. I thought it was pretty decent, but. All right, so the last card is Artillerize. We're going to take that dude. Now we don't have to worry. Now we don't have to worry or furry. What? Also, our nine which is pretty safe. I mean, I guess the dude deals one damage a turn. I only get to shoot this thing now. But then we're just going to kill this guy eventually. Oh, they're just going to shoot us. That's Yeah, it doesn't make sense to kill the one one. They already, you already have an 04. What are they going to attack for? Yeah. Artillerize! It's like legalized, you know what I'm saying? No, oh, now they're going to kill the one one. Sure. Yeah, they probably need to kill that. We can't afford to take one a turn. <laughs> Unbirth. See, this is interesting because now I can actually rushing river and bounce that guy and it just disappears forever. Could kick it. What am I also going to bounce? This guy gives them value. This guy has haste. Oh, it has haste. That's right. I forgot about that. <clears throat> And this is where we take over the game. Yeah, Displace is pretty good here. I mean, it's better if we get another value creature. But we oh, also have... I thought Salt Eye Guy worked differently. Never mind. Oh, you thought like if it leaves the battlefield? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that'd be sick. But we do have um, Moan in the graveyard for next turn, which is pretty nice. Oh, yeah. I think it's the win out of nowhere. Like, I'm not... Comf I mean, you're at eight. They need... Like three spells? That's true. We did get, we do have uh, Searing Spear, Fire Blast, and Artillery. What is this? Arc Lightning deals three. Yeah, divide as you choose. So they shot. Your face. Well, no, they shot the Fairy Token in two to oh, me. Sure. Yeah. That's fine. Not a bad draw. And I'd rather just moan here. Yeah, we gotta start dealing damage at some point. I feel like they probably have six damage in their deck at some point. Well, maybe they do, Michael, and maybe they don't. Here comes that. Oh, Fire Slinger is good. Give me another land. Okay, that was pretty good. But yeah, that's fine. Deal. All right. Well, still doing all right. We can always flicker the, the mnemonic wall to get back Violent Paul. Violet Paul. Violent Paul. <laughs> My name's Paul, and I'm violent. Hey, they call me Violent Paul. I'm a integral member of the punk scene in this downtown community. No oh, man, he's just from Tekken. What? He's from Tekken. What? You heard me. What? I guess we just alpha here. I guess we just alpha alpha here. 
Yeah, I mean, you still have the wall to block. And we can get Violent Paul. We can also displace to get uh, um, Toll back. They do have two cards in hand. Yeah. I guess it's fine. They didn't do anything, so. I ain't scared. Just hit away again, like one life. Being at seven versus six is huge. Oh, they discarded two lands and they played a land, so I'm pretty sure they might have just hit a bunch of lands. Yeah, that was actually one of the creatures I was worried about, but. Uh, yeah. Oh, we're taking four. No, we're going to kill it. Oh, yeah. I literally it's just. This is why I kept saying we have Violent Paul. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Flip that guy. If only skin guy was an ETB. That would be great. You have a... It still resolves, right? Yeah, that's really unfortunate. So this is three, though, which is brutal. And red commons are just too good. All right, trying to dodge. They have no cards in hand, so they're in top deck mode. We're trying to dodge three damage here. It's basically their whole deck. I don't think it's <clears throat> not a popper cube. Going well. We are one point away from uh, two turn clock. Two yeah. turn clock. Yeah, that's unfortunate. <coughs> I to give them three turns. Yikes. Okay, they but. Fuck, come on, dude. All right, we got to fade one more draw step. Um, I'm not going to have two guys. Well, I was thinking of keeping the flyer back. I don't know if there's any, like, 1-1 one, one flyer. With haste? I don't know about that. Oh, man. Got Oof. him. Woo. Oh, oh, Necromancer would have been good. Look, they're like, oh, did you want some spells? Here's some really good spells for you. Thanks. That was a close game. We won by skin of our teeth, teeth, teeth. You have skin on your teeth? Yeah. Oh, that's fucking weird, dude. I can't do this anymore. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's old Michael Skin Teeth. He's a. Uh... I gotta go to JC Penny real quick to pick up an order, so we're gonna have to do that. Close at eight, though. I'm like, that's weird because you're in the mall, so like. I mean, we should still have time for that. I hope so. Unless this last match takes... I mean, even if it takes the maximum time of 50 minutes. The maximum time. <laughs> <coughs> Apparently he couldn't say the maximum time without fucking himself up. This is a keep. The maximum time. <laughs> I like a scratch in my throat. I don't know what it is. Yeah? Is that from where you swallowed the razor blade? Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Mike, you might want to go to the dentist. Never. You'll never go to the dentist? Never. No, I'm just kidding. I haven't been in a while, though. We're playing Glenn Jones again. <laughs> Why am I playing the same person twice in the same league? Thoughtsies. Ooh, Bobble. I don't think you know how Popper works, man. Bobble's a value card. He was a value card. That's he said, enough. see you That's later. For budget commander. Is it? Yeah. Is it? Is it? It's it, like a poor it? man's... Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is poor it? man's something. I don't know. Is it? Uh, man, man, shut up. up. I'm, 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 I'm jamming out, Michael B. That guy's got Undying. One one with Undying. One one with Undying. Let's see what you're working with here. Glenneth McJonath. All right. I think he I think he fixed his... his, his Rend flesh, destroy non spirit. That's good. I don't care about it though. Terror, don't care about it. Unearth. Uh, I think Night's Whisper is probably just the best card here. Yeah. All our most of our creatures are blacks. Uh, they're all and they're all indispensable. Like I don't I don't care if you kill my Archaeomancer mm -hmm. or my death. Like all they all do stuff, so. All of all of our JC pennies are out of business. Jace, that's rough, man. I when I was when I was a younger, like 
high school and after high school human being i was like jc penny was my go-to i was like this is this is all right they're kind of a mall business and malls are dying so mall business Mm mm-hmm there ain't no business like mall business. Yes, there is. There's plenty of businesses like that. What's wrong with you? It sounded like someone ran into the door. Yeah, it's because that vacuum, when you open that front door, it's like whoosh. Oh. It's the old vacuum effect. What does the JP stand for? In what? He's got to go out real bad, probably. You want to let that dude out? Been a bad dad. A... No, I took him out the one before I started, but he's he's. I think he's really got to go again. Yeah, I can take him out. All right, because I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna do some. Well, I'll take him out for a walk. I won't take him out like you know an assassin. That's good. <clears throat> That's good. That's probably better. <laughs> oh. Your little what? Feetsies. Feetsies? Yeah. You work on your feet, man? No. All right. Well, see you later. Goodbye. Come on. <clears throat> he didn't even... Michael B. He's taking Hunter out to the bathroom. Well, the P in J.C. Penny stands for Penny. Oh, Evan Carr's Justice. That's a thing. Let's see what you got. Show me what you got. Uh, Unearth Terror Rend Flesh. I think Rend Flesh is probably the most versatile here. The J stands for Jenny? No, why would it stand for Jenny? I said the P stands for Penny because it's literally called J.C. Penny. So there's no, like, there's no confusion. <laughs> it's like you said, what does the J.P. stand for? I assume you what the J.C. stands for. Like, they just bounce this guy. Turtle just went back in the water and she flipped out for some reason. Oh, goodness gracious. I guess we're just playing that? Then they kill it, right? Just checking out this turtle. Yeah, we're just going to keep passing here. We can start capsizing lands. C does stand for Castle Garenbrig. That's where the glass pies are from. Gray Merchant. Gary! Hmm. Hmm.
I'm off to see what the JP stands for. Spaghetti Toucher, I wish you luck, buddy. Land. I want to land here. Man, you guys were... You guys are causing a ruckus out there. Oh my god. You okay? Uh, yeah, but... But what? Tell you in a second. Did you hurt yourself? Did you fart? No, man. You totally did, didn't you? No, man. Oh my god. Okay, I may have. Ugh, so... Don't ever take out Hunter without shoes on. Because the floor out there, right? Because it's really it's cold. It's freezing. That's oh why God, I never... Yeah, you got to wear... It's I, painful. I at least put flip-flops on because that yeah, floor is freezing cold, dude. It's real cold, man. Yeah, dude. It's like painfully cold. Yeah. I'd be like, Hunter, hurry up! Oh, did, he go, did he do all his business? He did, yeah. He pooped? Yeah. He did his peeps? Yep. He did his poops and his peeps? He did it all. God, what a good boy. What a good boy. Ask Mutual how good the pecan pies are at Castle Garen Bridge. I was thinking of vacation there something. Uh, Castle Garen Bridge only has delicious glass pies. I don't know about this pecan nonsense. Pecan? I was using the pecan earlier, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> like a toilet? Like a toilet? A toilet? 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 Toilet, yeah. Toilet? No. Bop it? Twist it. Sock it? Biscuit. Glenn Jones left. He lost the connection. He's like, I'm oh, out. Conceded to the wall. He couldn't deal with it. Now you can see he's he somehow disconnected himself. He cut his internet cord. He's like, he's at Wizards of the Coast and he's like, snap. I can't. I can't. Oh yeah, she's off a rock now. Off a rocker. He's off. She's off a rocker. <coughs> <laughs> Look at that hunter with wings, man. That's solid. <laughs> oh, Katie, my love. How are you, my dear? Katie's running late to work because she couldn't wake up in time. She was like, I can't get out of this bed. Dang. And then she's like, all right, I'm running work. I'm, I'm away to work, but I'm late. I almost did that one day. I was real tired and I was like, no. And then what happened? I just went to work. That's good. Also, I don't have PTO yet, and even if I did, I only have two days, so I don't really want to waste it on just not waking up. That's a good, yeah, don't, yeah, and that's also old Mike. Yeah, I don't do The that bed now. was so comfy. Yeah, that's the story of your life. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll get my toll back. I'd this... like to use those days for, like, when we do decide Do to something go. cool? Yeah. Yeah, that would be sweet. So that way I have, like, you know days in between where I, don't, I can recover you know what I mean also four day weekends are pretty cool so hey man yeah man if you decide you want to F&M I can just command her. Or I could not F and M. That's also an option. Yeah, that's true. And then I'll have to play paper magic and get a deck together. Well, either way I'm going for Saturday. Earlier. Before you probably are awake. What are you saying? Being awake? Yeah, I was going to go commander at like noon and then play for a couple hours and then we can do stuff later. When? Saturday. Shut up and take my money. I'm taking somebody's money. Larry David donated a dollar. Hey, nerds, wash your hands. That's good advice. God dang, Larry David, you so smart. Terror is gone. So now they have Gary. We'll probably just take that Gary. Give me back that Gary. Gary's the most dangerous card. Gary is the most dangerous animal. Does it say you're going to mass his guy? 
Did, what, did, I, did I click on this and then target this? Yeah, you did. <laughs> That's not a thing. Oh, jeez. Yeah, let's get the Gary, I guess. Grim Harvest. Return a creature from your graveyard to your hand. Oh, that's awkward. That is awkward. I feel awkward. On Earth is what? Cost three or less? Return a creature from your three or less? Sure. And what is this? When a creature is put in your graveyard, you may pay three if you do return this card to your hand. Otherwise, exile it. Whatever. It's still great merchant. Make them use the other thing. So we know the three cards in their hand. For sure. Whoop, 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 whoop. Does going commander mean what I think it does? Uh, mm. Maybe. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. <clears throat> this is how you're going to act? That's how it sounds. This is how you're going to be? This is how you're going to sound? This is how I'm going to Michael be? Man, Larry David down here. That's crazy. That's wild. Grim Harvest, get back. Gray Murchie. Okay. Okay, Glenneth Paltrow. <laughs> Bert. Alright, so Unearth and Grim Harvest are gone. So you have Vicious Offering and the other dude in the hand. I guess they're just going to keep playing lands because I ain't got no reason not to. Hmm. This guy dies. They can get back Grim Harvest, pay the three. That seems rough. You could just start bouncing lands. Yeah, but only one a turn, so it's just like doesn't really mm, and they vicious hunger this guy, but then they lose their that's actually fine. Sure. I mean that we're trading Grim Harvest and Vicious for Vicious we're trading Vicious Offering and Future Grim Harvest. Okay. Well, that was fine, I guess. It's only one damage, man. <clears throat> I feel terrible. What happened? What's going on? What's what's going on? Tell me, tell me more. Like does Mike own a car? I do. Doubt it. I know it'll make you feel good. Mustin makes me feel good. Can I draw a card that, like, doesn't suck? Is that... I mean, once we get to 12 lands, though, we're going to start double capsizing, and that's going to be pretty... Yeah, that's unbeatable. Pretty stink stinktacular. I'm going to say Gary, because we've got a Gary in the hand. Gary in the hand is actually worth two in the bush, so... Hmm. Mustin makes me feel good. Faceless Butcher. Exile a creature other than Faceless Butchie. Oh, goodness gracious. Eh, goodness gracious. Goodness gracious, how may I help you? <laughs> Hi, is this goodness gracious? <laughs> oh, boy. I'll just take the one here. I don't know what's going on. This game is hard to navigate. Interesting. What? Now that we... kills guys, right? Yeah. <laughs> I 
Well, we're at 11, so. We're real close to the double bounce. We've drawn 11 lands and seven actual spells, so. You've ended about the infinite flicker comments, and I have that with Pondering Mage, three bounce creatures, Shut a recur for instant sorceries, and cap style. Hold on, I gotta take some of money. Gary in the bush. Sorry I'm not enough for you. What does that even mean? I don't know, but I like it. <laughs> Gary in the bush. Thanks so much, buddy. I appreciate it. Plagued Rusalka. Sure. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. And I'm going to regret it if we don't hit a single land. Oh, we did. Okay. Yeah, this guy seems good against them. <laughs> X proof's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, we're going to take one, two, three, four, five, six, but I think that's okay. Why are we taking six? Because they're just going to play Grey Merchant. Oh, sure. Oh, God, they'll make me sacrifice something. That would be pretty good. Mm, annoying, but. But no Grey Merchant, so that's that's something. Okay, so we need to have Offering and Grey Merchant in hand. That's fine. Oh man, if Nightscape from Layer 2, where Capsize costs like 5. What's your what's your favorite magic card ever printed, then what is your least favorite magic card ever printed? To play or play against, not because it's awful. I don't favorite know. Favorite magic card. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... I think my favorite magic card might be Omniscience. It's pronounced Omniscience, Michael. <laughs> my least favorite card? Probably like... Hmm. Boston makes me feel good. I'm trying to think of a noxious magic card. You ever been dark blasted? Yeah, I've been dark blasted. Veil of Summer, that's the one that lets you put three lands into play? I think, right? Veil of Summer? No, you f that's Summer oh, no, Bloom, that's the, you stupid oh, biscuit. Yeah. That's the uh, the new green counter spell, if you will. Is it? Oh, that's wild, man. They're going to kill my Nightscape from there. Bustin makes me feel good. All right, Grim Harvest. I really don't like gone. anything that kills lands. It's a very unfun strategy. So like, something like Ruination. All right, so Archaeomancer and Mnemonic Wall are both in the graveyard. I don't know if I have any way to get them out of the graveyard. But maybe I do. Oko's pretty obnoxious, yeah. <clears throat> Five, six, seven. Best card, Subterranean Tremors. Isn't that the card that deals damage to uh, each player equal, or each opponent equal to their lands and it has cycling, right? What are you saying right now? Oh, Choke is pretty rough. Choke is brutal. care about this? I don't even know. Like we take one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think displacing these is probably the best option here. Because now we get a blocker and we get a we have to save our other guy. God, I like my my kingdom for like a Muldrifter or a Denrova Horror or something here. Chalice the Void is also up there as far as really annoying cards. 
Blood Moon. Anything that like turns the game off for you. Like that's the my least favorite thing is just like when I can't play Magic. Like, like some people don't like combos, but like at least they're doing something. Like when someone just shuts off the game, it's just like I don't even have any chance. I don't have any chance. Michael B. Twenty twenty. And most decks I play are not good against. Michael decks. B. You gonna run for president? I don't have any chance. Michael I'm B. I'm not old enough, so it's true. Whatever, dude. But if the age was lord, sure. She be swimming. She do be. For me, favorite survival of the fittest. It's a good one. Worse than Staring Bridge. Staring Bridge for Mulder for Mulder for Mulder for Mulder for. You're like a shit Mulder drifter. <laughs> More like a shit drifter. Yeah, kind of exactly like a shit drifter. I like stacks, but I don't like really easy stacks. The combos like Karn and Latisse. You mean Lattice? Lattice, yeah. My bad. Latisse! <laughs> Winter Orb might be my least favorite card. Winter Orb's pretty, pretty brutal. It's pretty brutal. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we are at five now. We're in the end game now. Gary's a messed up card, man. It's real good. Looking for a mole drifter. <clears throat> Skin thinner against? Actually. Skin thinner on skin thinner action. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Flavor Town. <laughs> oh, geez. Michael, why don't you tell me about your skin thinner? Hopefully, he doesn't have a flicker of his own. He hey, might, though. He might. What are you talking about, A.A. Ron? Oh, uh, I don't think turn turn three Karn, like Karn itself as a card is not super obnoxious. Turn three Karn is obnoxious, but that's not like a particular card. Ugh. You know what I mean? Know what I'm saying? It's just the fast mana that's the problem, not the Karn. It's the fast mana. I want to go fast mana. Oh, they didn't do anything. All right. Don't slow roll me, Glen Glen McJones. Oh, that's real good. You don't even got a escape. I'm sorry. What the fuck did you just say? You don't got to in in merge, emerge. I don't know. Why I had trouble saying that. I think it's because you have a brain aneurysm. <clears throat> that might be it. It's gonna be a soul manipulation. Oh. I feel like if you assemble three specific lands, I'm okay with you making seven mana. Yeah, but when you get to play four of each and cards like that let you get those lands, it's it's not really that hard to do. Let him get those lands. Do 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 do. Ba do 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 do. Hey man. Yes, Michael B. Shut up. It's hurtful. If this guy was actually blue and it costs one less, I can then play Bone Clad Necromancer, but I can't. This is why Prime Time is Bandit Commander. Yeah, Primeval Titan is an absurd card. Don't blink him. It's an hour of promise that costs one more, and you get a six-six Trampler before with it. Mana, mana. So long, wretched Griffles. Okay, that's fine. All right, that's good then. Huh? Hey, he's gonna get two. La he's gonna get a mountain. It's going to be the saddest thing ever. Okay. He did not. And it was not that. Alright, Muldrifter. We're still hoping for a gosh darn Muldrifter. Drifter. 
That I'm okay with. Non-black, though. I'm less okay with that. <laughs> you figured it out, ladies and gentlemen. Well, no, you told me. <laughs> I did not figure it out. You figured it out after I informed you. That's not figuring it out, though. That's just... That's... Well, that's what you figured out. I guess you could just uh, cast it and be sad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not getting in for five, huh? Well, yeah, they just no, like they just block. Yeah, they just block with two, three, two, four, two, two, and I get to kill one. Yeah, that's true. That's for our big value. five, five hexproof boy. Non-black, huh? Well, see you matchup. later. Okay, now we're talking. Flash it back immediately. I'm going wide, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to have to go pretty wide to get to 18. I'll get there. <clears throat> it's four blockers already? Oh, man. They're going to kill my Nightscape familiar now? Oh, he has more cards in deck, too. You're done. We'll be all right. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh no. Well, that'll do, won't it? Where were you? All right, so Gary is a real piece of junk. Yeah, no, nothing really can do about that. Nothing you can do about it. You should take out that kill black creature card. Yeah, that's terrible. Also, there's another non-black card. Uh, yeah. Skin render was pretty rough. You can kill other skin renders. If they haven't flipped yet, yeah. I guess that's true, man. Put in the 4-4? Four -four? Or put in the angler. This is a this is a slow game. It's true, I guess. You don't want to just play the four four there? Not really. Okay. Helps out your angler. I guess it does. And that sack guy is not great. Why? I got soul time. I got a bunch it. of shitty one ones, dude. Kills everything. Okay, maybe you're right. That's true. To Cotley Honor Guard would be good. What does your guy do now? I don't even know what that is. It's probably something stupid. Like your face. Oh. What? Hmm? What? It's not insulting if you just pretend like you didn't hear what he said, because then it's... Whatever. He can't hurt me anymore. Who can't hurt you? Putting that ghoul back in? What ghoul? What the fuck are you saying right now? No, it's over here. You put that ghoul back in? I'm too ghoul for school, Michael. Yeah, I guess there's nothing you really want to cut. I'll cut you, you stupid Mitch. Got him. Wow. Get wrecked. I did get wrecked. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. I like a lot. How much do you like it? A lot. Oh boy. Michael's got a. Michael's got a gun. You got a gun? <laughs> no. Why would you lie about that? You think people are impressed by your gun? No one cares about your stupid gun, Michael. Maybe you can downgrade it to like a Takali crossing guard. Hmm. That's insulting. So Mike is out of frame a lot? What does that mean? Yeah, I know. That's because oh. that's what he does. He does literally the, the, the out of frame lean where he's like, I'm going to lean all the way over here, guys. And you're like, oh, that's weird, but okay. Oh, are you just going to kill me? You can trade one for one? That's the rudest. What do you got here? You skin thinner, rain of revelation. Let's get rid of that rain. Chocolate rain. Mike stays dry while Michael feels a bit. Michael rain. Creature and his battlefield gets to spend two and have to have their parents sign the report. Ah, uh, but mom! He used to be mostly in frame with his lean, though. Well, what are you going to do? Sometimes, well, I can move this over a little more but 
Yeah. Let's see now. Yeah, it's a little better. Some stay dry while others feel the pain. <laughs> Chocolate rain. Chocolate rain. You know, my dad ate a chocolate rain once. He ate a chocolate rain? Yeah. Does that mean like a like a doo-doo? <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, man, my dad ate a chocolate rain once. Here comes a rat. Crip rat. Discard a card. Oh, it's a skin rendy. Get rended on. That guy's not good in this matchup. But he'll die anyway. He'll die like he lived. Which was? Rending my dad. Hmm. You gonna emerge? I think so, man. I think I am gonna emerge. Ooh, Archaeomancer. Tell me more, Archaeomancer. Tell me about your family. What? <laughs> what? What did he say? I have a removal spell for your giant 3-4. There's no way. <clears throat> also, rushing around and bounce this guy. If this guy lives, I'm definitely going to bounce my, my, my bird. I'm going to bounce that bird. Uh, I want to bounce that bird. do 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 Jamming. We are jamming. I would like to jam it with you. I would enjoy that. I don't think you would. We're jamming? I hope you like jamming too. No blue mana. No, they're going to play rat. And they're going to kill everything. That's unfortunate. No, it's fine because I get to bounce my guy. So we, many rushing rivers. We are doing. And they get to go to five here. That's pretty brutal. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, there's Glen Gleneth. Gleneth. Gleneth Paltrow. Oh, oh, it's... Oh, I thought it was one at a time. Oh. You see what I'm saying? Like, I thought it was like you pay one, deal damage, then you can just stack it. Oh, that was worse. That was a real big misplay. Yeah, that was pretty rough. Yeah, I might decide the game. I oh, still have five and has no blue. Because I thought he added four mana and then he was going to go shoot once, shoot once, and like stack all four triggers so that it deals four damage. Because I thought it was like Pestilence where like... What are you getting back? You're getting back Skin Render? Skin Rendy? gonna play it face up that's wild man oh that guy's good chocolate rain <coughs> one two three four we can actually rain probably discard something I don't hate River Bounce than Toll. <sighs> Actually, I think Rain is better here. Because we're probably going to hit one land. Oh, we hit two lands. Nice. Discard you, play you, Toll. Skinner under Putrid Goblin? Interesting. Uh, probably get rid of Putrid Goblin, I guess. Or Skin Render, Skin Thinner. Kind of like the same thing. They're not even close to the same thing. I mean, if he goes to 8, eight mana, though, and he gets to make me discard two cards a turn, it's pretty bad. We discard one. I 
might just be compulsive. Then we can like get rid of both of these guys next turn. Narcolepsy this. Bounce this. And then we can always get the compulsive back with the wall. I don't know. Oh. Huh. Well, that's pretty decent. That's a real creature. That is a real creature. So we're going to get a putrid goblin, I imagine. <laughs> oh, wait, no, that's not in their hand anymore. They played it, so fish is offering, sure. All right. You could bounce, sack, wall, bounce again. No, you don't have enough mana for that. Did you just make a bunch of things up? <clears throat> you need 11 mana. Okay, well... Um, I think we actually just win here. We earn a wall, we bounce, bounce, and then narcolepsy, the other thing. And they have one card in hand and one black, so I think that's probably game. One, two... Oh, narcolepsy. Oh, I guess we just bounce it with capsize. I guess that's yeah, fine. No reason to show him the Chocolate raid. I kind of like Wrecking Ball Stagger Shock Lightning here almost. Like put in like Warp Landscape Prism and a couple. It just makes your mana so bad. Does it? And we only have one double, two double black cards and one double blue card. Two double blue cards, like, it's not... How many mounds are we talking? Two, and a warp landscape and a prism, but, like, what are we cutting, I guess? Yeah. Channeler I don't really care about. <clears throat> sure. Kill like salt emissary. That guy's way too valuable, man. <laughs> I don't think so. Then you're a dummy. Yeah, I think we're fine. All right. Well, for all the marbles. Also, wrecking ball is double red, so that'd be a little rough. No, it's not. It's red black. <clears throat> I thought it was black, black, red, red. What? <laughs> no, it's color. It's two black, red. <sighs> Can't just make stuff. Oh, wow. That's good. That's good with this hand. It's not making it up if I thought it was true. You did make it up. It's not a real thing. So you created it out of thin air. No, man. That card is exists. No, it doesn't. Wrecking Ball 2. Return of the Reckonator. Are you drunk? <laughs> yeah. That's very very oh yeah big drunk give me a three drop here that doesn't suck I'll even take a two drop just so I can get something out of my hand so I'm not discarding for friggin yep caw caw key caw peepaw peepaw me ma um, probably gonna discard like capsize just to get it back with our Kaomancer, or this guy costs seven. We're only gonna have six next turn. Yeah, let's get rid of capsize because that just gives us our Kaomancer next turn. We're gonna go to eight cards. We play this and this, go to six, and then get capsize back, go back up to seven. Like once we hit five mana, then I think we're just pretty good. Breaking Ball Two will be in return to return to return to Ravnica. It's true. I came in like a wrecking ball. All 
All right, you're getting there. Land? No, that would have been too good. Um, so this guy costs two. Actually, that's pretty decent. How about, how about a land now? Still no? All right, sounds good. Cool. Okay. Got you. <clears throat> oh, no. It's all happening. I think we're dead here. I think Glenn's pulling a fast one on us. Land would be great. I would love a land. Nope. That was I was asking Cycle, for a lot. I guess. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we do want to hit a land. And then we can also play Angler this turn. All right, that's pretty cool. So we have one, two, three, four, five. This is going to cost two, but we're just going to pay the full. Um, get rid of... Okay, I'm answer, Mull Drifter. Or Rewinder, I guess. Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, this might actually be hard for him to deal with. We'll see. Until they go Vicious Offering or Putrid Goblin. Negative five, negative five. Attack for three. You ready? Vicious Offering. No Vicious Offering? Ooh-wee, Mike. Guess they don't have it. Well, he's got something. Glenn Jones is a man of many tricks, Michael. Tricks are for kids. <coughs> All the dancers in the Michael B. <coughs> Shut up. No. <laughs> no, sir. I won't do it. Oh, you'll do it. What's happening right now? Okay. That's old Rusi. Rusi Salka. What? Hmm? What? Man, I wish you drew land. That'd be sweet. too far behind here play the 4-4 four, four. pretty good blocker yeah but I think we're dead if we do this but I don't think we have much of a choice and uh, like I'm pretty sure he's gonna sack this guy get him back and then kill us nothing we can do about that play well, I was trying to figure out if there was here we go and Saget, death denied. Yep. Get back Grip Rats and Grim Merchant. Yep. Gary, too good. Yeah, that's pretty annoying. Does it not? Two o two one one two. Where's my? Oh, there we go. Wait, did I not? Wait, what? Two oh two one. I went two one in this, right? Like, yeah. Did I get the play points? I should be at like two hundred and five still. One fifty six. What? I think you just got jip, bro. Is that right? No, because no, because last time we went one two, so I don't think. We... Have I been getting play points? I don't even know what's going on here. Like there was no like thing that came up and said you got. The... Oh, I think it said one hundred fifty because last. Because the last one I got 50 and this one I got 100. Oh. So I was at like 206 play points. I spent 200 for the last two drafts. I went down to 6 and then I just gained 150 in the same box. So, alright. Whatever. Haircut looks good. Mike hasn't had a haircut in like a month and a half. Yeah, it's been a little while. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash frankthepoor. Patreon.com slash frankthepoor. Cool stuff, Inc.com. 
and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you.